if you need any Xbox or PlayStation codes or any cheap PC games, use the referral link in the description. It will take you over to G2A.com. They already have a discount on most of their goods. And if you use the code CHEZ at checkout, you can get yourself an extra 3% off as well. Hey guys, how's it going? Chez back again and welcome to episode number 14 of the Valencia career mode here on FIFA 16. We start with an away game against Villarreal, a side that really should be much, much higher in the table than they actually are. They're down in 16th right now. Terrible start to the season for them. Four wins, four draws and seven defeats. We have the best away record in La Liga right now, or joint best away record with Sevilla, who are actually a side that we've beaten already away from home in this series. So as you might expect, then we were hoping for three points with the strongest away side in the league we're playing against a side that are underperforming and theoretically we're first they're 16th it should be a simple game yeah, but Villarreal are never a simple side to play against so we'll see what happens uh, we're starting as you might expect our four strength starting lineup with a 4-3-3 the attacking 4-3-3 Thiago has been in wonderful form recently I'm contemplating starting Danilo at CDM rather than Andre Gomez over the next couple of uh, couple of games but it's, some, it's, it's, just, it's a decision I haven't actually come to a conclusion on yet but uh, they're coming on the attack actually to start things off Villarreal and we get really lucky with a great save from Diego Alves in turn I guess it was lucky that it dropped to Leo Baptiste down the first place but how's that for reactions to just throw up the right arm tips it over the top with his elbow but it is a corner to Villarreal and the danger is not done just yet corner comes in they do win the header and keeper almost made a mistake there because he came out for it got nowhere near it and had the shot been on target funny feeling it may have found its way into the back of the net Bruno into Pina here though he draws a good save out Diego Alves for some reason the midfielder ignores it as it drops past him and uh, we had to rely on the goalkeeper again to make another good save at his near post to stop them from taking the lead you can see there a big strong left hand to uh, push it around the post Jose Gaia on the attack though for us for the first time cross comes in defender wins the initial header but it drops to Andre Gomez good battle of strength there and good show of strength as well from Andre Gomez to win it but uh, he gets the ball inside to Danny Parejo across to Rodrigo obviously want to have a shot on his left foot we get really lucky that or we get really unlucky sorry they get really lucky with the way that uh, they don't concede there it's just another physics engine uh, hiccup with the player running into it the d goalkeeper running into it and it just bounces around unfortunately for me though it didn't go into the back of the net neither did it here when Andre Gomez had a shot from distance Sergio Asenjo with a very good save to push it around the post for a corner we will take said corner though and Parejo will put it into the middle Abdenor wins the header but pretty tame on target, but comfortable save for the goalkeeper. Now, obviously, Villarreal are probably struggling in the league because they have lost their uh, two best goal scorers. They sold Carluce to uh, Tigres in the Mexican league. He joined uh, Andre Pierre Gignac or Gignac from uh, the French leagues into uh, into Mexico as well. And they sold Giovanni dos Santos to LA Galaxy, of course, earlier on in the summer transfer window in real life as well. So that's probably why they are where they are in the league. They just don't get the goals right now that they need from Adrian and Soldado. But Rodrigo here is going to give us a goal that we need to go in front. Tried from a similar angle on his left foot, which is his stronger foot. And the keeper made a good save. Took it on his right and he couldn't get anywhere near it. Really nice finish into the far top corner on his right hand side. We have ourselves a deserved 1-0 lead. Adrian, though, trying to get involved here and provide a goal that clearly he hasn't been able to provide uh, too often so far this season but Pena with a snapshot and that sums up Villarreal's play to this point in the game Alfonso he gets lucky here that the ball rebounds straight back to off for Gulli. Costa into a Soldado they play a nice one too here uh, Soldado and Pena and Pena pings it right into the top corner brilliant strike I mean there's nothing you can do against that the quick little one too meant that we couldn't get anywhere near the ball and when a ball is hit that well struck that cleanly and is that pinpoint accurate towards the far top corner doesn't matter whether you got Manuel Neuer in goal you're not going to save it it's an absolute cracker so much power on it as well well past the keeper before he even got anywhere near to where the trajectory of the ball was long ball from back to front here though up to Roberto Soldado who rather disappointingly just brushes past Mustafi who's my strongest centre back gets a good turn in against Abdenor and then a really good left footed shot into that top right hand corner apparently that is the side netting in which all of the goals have to be scored in today's game so far because uh, that's the exact corner where all three shots have ended up Faguli turns inside the defender here they're in stoppage time now so really not much time left to try and get ourselves an equaliser Thiago hits the bar and the follow up with the header he's been in such good form recently Thiago but he can't find the back of the net with what could be the last effort of the game he's got an open goal to aim at with his head and he puts it wide because of the pressure on his shoulder 
from Mario Gaspar. I was absolutely heartbroken. I thought, we're going to get an equaliser here, and it's no less than we deserve from this game, but we didn't get it. Costa plays this back to Asenho, though. I don't understand what he's doing there. Thank you very much, Sergio Asenho. Paco Alcatel will take that. We'll rifle it into the back of an empty net. We are going to get the equaliser that we deserve and make it 2-2. And I think he was trying to play it to the defender on the far side and just, I don't know, just didn't put enough on it. Every now and again, the keepers make a mistake like that in career mode. I think that's twice this year on FIFA 16 we've profited from a similar situation. And uh, we'll take it. That gives us a point rather than none away from home against Villarreal. Whether that's enough to maintain our best away record in the league record, uh, I'm not entirely too sure. I don't know how Sevilla got on in uh, that particular match today or whether they were away from home. But regardless of what Sevilla did, we're still top of the table from a point from Atleti who are a point clear of today's second opponents, Real Madrid. We're at home in the snow at the Mestalla. Can't say as I've ever seen it snow in Valencia, to be completely honest, but never mind, we'll play. We're in our home kit of white. Fortunately, we have black shorts, so it shouldn't be too hard to pick out uh, our players in the background, and the snow's actually not that thick on the pitch. Sometimes it's, uh, it's like this, and then it builds up throughout the game. Other times, it just stays like a little smattering of snow like this. Another, and uh, you can have games where it's almost playing on a just complete blanket of white. And uh, the, the ball that they gave us for this one in La Liga, the, uh, the fluorescent ball is yellow, which isn't actually that easy to pick out on the whitish background but never mind James Rodriguez hits the bar here and uh, you could see it hit the bar but uh, Karim Benzema was offside when the ball was played through to him so he's not able to give uh, them the lead there even if uh, Benzema had been able to get to the return ball as it bounced free off the woodwork Andre Gomez gets this to Thiago though and we are able to take the lead at the other end he can score goals Thiago he gets given an open goal to head it into an empty net and misses but give him a difficult chance from the edge of the box and he'll ping it top corner Valencia 1 Real Madrid nil. Can we make it two, though? Guy with a heavy touch, but he is able to get it to Paco. Paco with a good turn. He tries to shot from the edge of the box as well, but it just bends away at the last minute. And it's not a problem for the goalkeeper. Marcelo is going to get caught on the ball here by Hugo Mayo. Danny Parejo plays the ball right through the middle towards Thiago. Danilo's chasing him down. Completely wipes Thiago out from behind. I was confident that I was going to run through with Thiago there and actually score, despite the fact that he's not been... Uh, well, he's been blowing hot and cold, shall we say. In, uh, in the past couple of games as we've seen scores a goal but misses uh, open goals etc but it is a straight red card for Danilo he and Pepe clearly telling the referee ref you've seen that wrong you've seen that wrong it's never been a red card and I guess they might have something to say about that as you can see Nacho Fernandez is right next to Thiago there he's not necessarily the last man there is a man on the cover but Thiago, um, Nacho was behind Thiago so arguable red card you can understand why the referee gave it but you could at the same time understand why the referee could have given him a yellow card I mean I'm happy that he gave him a red that means that Real are down to 10 men and not only are they down to 10 men they're already 1-0 down as well so that gives us surely the best chance of getting a victory here that we could possibly wish for uh, playing the ball out to the edge of the box to Thiago here from the corner his shot though is very very close to giving us a 2-0 lead apparently Thiago is great with shots from distance all from the edge of the box on his laces but give him a header or a finesse, not that impressive, although he has scored a header against a really tall defender so far this season. So he baffles me, Thiago. I've really been playing quite well with him recently, but unfortunately, Luka Modric, regardless of how well we've been doing with Thiago, uh, brings Real Madrid back on level terms after 50 minutes. It's 1-1. Really good hit. Can't say anything against that. Was very well done. They finally bring on Tony Kroos for Casemiro. I don't know why they didn't start him in the first place, to be completely honest. How this uh, result or this move didn't end up in the back of the net, I've no idea. It's getting very, very scrappy now as Madrid just try desperately to uh, to get themselves a winner and not overly commit too many players forward, which is what they did here. There is that space in that right-back slot where uh, Danilo should be. Thiago in the box misses it. He is blowing hot and cold. He's just really unpredictable right now, Thiago. I'm still having shots with him because I have faith 99% of the time that he will score. It's just um, sometimes my faith isn't rewarded with a result. But we get a, uh, a one-all draw against Real Madrid there, which 
I mean, it's Real Madrid, so I'm pleased with the draw, but they were down to 10 men, so perhaps we really should have won, especially considering we were already 1-0 up when they went to, down to 10 men. But this is the sort of budget we've got left as we head into the January transfer window. We're actually in the window now. It is the 2nd of uh, January when we played that game against Real. And we have them twice over the next two episodes. We'll play them in the first leg of the Copa del Rey quarterfinals in the next episode, as well as Real Sociedad. And then the episode after that, we'll play them again in the second leg, followed by Raya Vallecano, who incidentally are the side that Real Madrid in real life just beat 10-2 so uh, admittedly it was against nine men for the majority of the game but still uh, Raya Vercano hopefully we could get a 10-2 win in this series that'd be nice wouldn't it we are still top of the table though despite our draw against Madrid and our draw against Villarreal however Atleti can go top if they win their game in hand three sides on 34 points there Sevilla can go on to 35 though and go above them if they win their game in hand and Barca can go within a point and Celta can go within two points if they win their game in in games in hand as well it's so tight at the top and it has been for like four episodes now in this series and I have a funny feeling now we're exactly halfway through the season that it's going to be like that for the remainder of the year so uh, tomorrow we'll have a transfer targets episode let me know any suggestions you have in the comment section right now for this episode I will be recording tomorrow's episode uh, before this episode goes up just to make sure I have enough time to get all of this stuff done uh, actually, no, thinking about it, this is going up on Christmas Eve, isn't it? So let me know all of your uh, suggestions in the comment section of this video, and then I'll put them in to Monday's episode, because obviously we won't have a video tomorrow on Christmas Day. So make sure we won't have a uh, any career mode content. I might put a vlog up or something, but uh, yeah. Let me know all your suggestions for transfers then for this upcoming window, and we will have a look at them in more depth on Monday. But that's all for now. Thank you very much for watching. Do have yourselves a very good Christmas tomorrow. I, I probably will put together some sort of vlog for you, uh, for you to watch if you do have a spare five minutes etc but i hope you do all enjoy christmas if you don't celebrate christmas then uh, i guess a happy holiday period to you whether you celebrate hanukkah or you don't necessarily have any sort of uh, festive period this time of year just enjoy your Dem december the 25th i suppose but drop the video a like if you enjoyed subscribe if you haven't already check all the social media links that are on your screen right now and follow me on all of them and check out the no identity merchandise store as well if you'd like yourself a t-shirt but for now thank you very much for watching and i'll see you next time